And what's going on, fam? This is your boy, Joe Fontaine of the VIP Sound Lab. And this is going to be a quick message to the VIP fam. I just want to go over a couple of things right quick with you guys. Uh, right now, I'm inside Ableton Live 9. Right here, I have the Ableton Live 9 drum rack. And also have a controller editor template open right here. So basically, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. So I got a question about, or actually, it was more of a request. I had a VIP member. They were wanting to know, could I make a quick controller editor uh, template for the Ableton Live drum rack. Now, as we all know, the Ableton Live drum rack, it has all these little modules here where you can pack in a ton. I mean, a ton of sounds in there. Look at that. So um, what I did was I just mapped the first uh, 16 pads here. So the controller editor template, matter of fact, I think I sent the demo out for this uh, to your email inboxes, so you might want to check that. But whether you're on the MK1 or, let's see, where is it at? Or the MK2 here. It really doesn't make a difference because the mappings for um, the Ableton Live drum rack, it's it's really, really easy. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'm also going to go over a new, exciting new drum kit that we just uploaded yesterday. We really went over the top on this drum kit. We were thinking of ways to actually push the envelope. How can we get the drum sounds even louder? Because in today's industry music, uh, commercial music is getting louder and louder constantly. But we want to make it as loud as possible without distortion so we actually stepped our game up and i'll give you an idea let me go ahead and hit on some of these pads right quick this is the uh vip sound lab new drum kit we're calling it the live wire drum kit that's a kick right there there's a nasty snare so those two sounds alone sound amazing by themselves and we have another kick here So we could be like, you know, whatever you want to do. Some other sounds here. You know, just to give you an idea of some of the sounds. Oh, we also put some 808s in there. But we left a lot of headroom on those. Um, some little hi hats. You know, so basically, whatever you want to do, those are 16 sounds. And if you notice over here on the controller editor template, all the sounds are completely mapped out. Now, this demo again is in your email inbox, or if you, you know, if you're signed up for the newsletter, the um, the uh, the Mailchimp. It has a direct link for if you want to go ahead and download it off of uh, our box account. Either way, you're going to get it. Um, just one of the goodies. Now, if you wanted to set up your choke groups, just for those who don't know, you know, I might as well kill three birds once I just remembered. Um, I did get a, a question about the drum rack. You can use it like um, machine or an NPC. If you go right over here to where your ins and outs are, um, you see right here. You notice how this little menu comes up? Because normally that wouldn't be there. It would be gone. It would be like completely, let me see. It would be something like this. I think this is how it's going to look when you um, open up the demo. So what you need to do is just very simply, you click right here on this little icon right here. This icon here is just for your macro controls if you want to assign, you know, certain parameters over here and things like that, like that to your, uh, your hardware controller machine. You can do that because right now I'm using my machine controller. Again, just hitting shift and control. So again, this is just basically for your volume and your pans. Right here, you have to hit this guy right here. And now this little menu opens up here where you can assign your choke groups. So when you tap it on your sounds, you see how it's it's kind of going through all the sounds. You know, and then at the same time you can come over here, you know, and do what you need to do. So your choke groups are here. You have 16 choke groups. So just think of this as the exact same way a machine. As long as you have them, you know, the same choke group, the pads will choke choke each other off. Uh, inside the VIP database one, I have an Ableton Live slice and chop preset, but that's a whole nother story. You guys might, I like a really, really old video on that uh, before we had better mic quality and uh, things of that nature. But, you know, the lessons are there and the templates are there. So with this template, Again, it also comes with the kit as well. Um, 
those 16 pads are mapped out. So I'm going to give you guys an inside tip right quick because right here where it says, where it says VIP Ableton Live, where it says assign right here, okay, we, you see we're on channel four, okay, and here's the notes. So you notice how over here the notes correspond with everything over here. See how everything's moving over there? And also set the velocity minimum at 80. You notice when we're going through these pads. Notice how the velocity minimum stays low. So then that way you don't you don't have to bang on your pads as hard um, to get a decent volume. Now you can move this velocity um, down to zero if you want to do that. So then that way, you know, if you, you type it on the pads lighter, you know, if you want to get more motion in your tracks and more of a human feel, drop that velocity down. You know, so um yeah, that's pretty much it. As long as you have this on channel four, you go ahead and you set your notes. And when you're moving through this little uh, guy right here, you know, keep in mind the notes are right here. It's right in front of your face. So when you go through these, these notes, whenever you drop a sound on there, that's all you got to do. You just go to your control editor template, you match it up, you put it on the same channel and there you go. And that's pretty much it on a small little module here. Not really a, a tutorial, it's more or less information. Just want to show you guys this new drum kit, but I did want to, um, let you guys know that that control editor template is available for download now and it's a great starter because I put an Ableton Live 9 starter. I also did a um, a machine one um, but I'm not going to do it in this video but right here here's the Ableton Live 9 file here's the control editor template the Ableton project info and also the samples right here you know because let's say if you want to put it in machine um, when you go inside this file, you just click on right here where it says samples because it's going to be an Ableton Live. It's going to say Ableton Live. It's going to well, say VIP Sound Lab um, Wire Drum Kit Demo ALS. It'll be, it'll be a folder. You just go inside there where it says samples. You go in here to where it says import it. All right. And then boom, there's the little samples so you you know if you're at home on a, on a demo and you want to drop it in the machine you might not have Ableton Live you just take these sounds which is basically what you just heard you drag them onto your machine pads and boom there you go so that's pretty much it um, stay tuned we're going to be having a lot of new uh, tutorial videos coming up soon I've been getting some requests on Ableton Live and I also have been getting a lot of requests for more control editor templates also that drum kit let me pull it up we also put in six sound packs. As you can see right here, we got uh, live wire sound packs one through six. These sound packs, as you can see right here, we got some bass. Also have a Reason sound font in there uh, for Reason users. We also threw in some of the, the Moog and um, uh, Triton basses in there too. We said, you know what, we might as well go ahead and throw those in there too. On the Machine Fissions um, drum kit, we added some of those on there too. So the sound packs, they're pretty full I mean they have a lot of sounds in there we got six packs in there um yeah here's all your sounds we threw in some drum breaks for example you know if you you know you know if you're into chopping up breaks we got those if you're into uh you know sampling You know, we got some of those goodies in there for you too. So, um, you know, we got got lots of goodies in there as far as the drum breaks, um, you know, kick drums, hi hats, uh, snares. We also do some MIDI sequences in there. You know, if you want to get in there and and uh, have some MIDI synth uh, MIDI files that's already sequenced out uh, for your MIDI controllers or your favorite VSTs, we have that in there also. Again, here is the demo kit project. And we also threw in some, let's see here, we have the FL Studio 10. Of course, 11's out now. I haven't got a chance to map 11 yet, but we have uh, 10. This this will allow you to use your machine controller to control um, Fruity Loops. Um, we have the host transport control for Pro Tools. I think you guys should have got that by now, but I believe we sent that out uh, a while back. We got one for the MK1 as well as MK2 as well as MK2 Micro. Uh, for controlling Pro Tools. And this one right here is the one I'm using right now where it says uh, Live Wire Demo Machine Pad Control. So you just click on that, and that's basically what, what brought this up. 
so that you can, uh, you know, use machine uh, in in its MIDI mode or MIDI controller mode to control Ableton Live. So that's pretty much it on this one, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.